Peak? One. Oh, oh, we're going back in the game before we can talk about your heritage and your background. <laughs> we're jumping back in. Cypher looks like he's ready to go. Again, he is in a very strong position. Pavel going in for a bit of ag aggression there. That was really nice from Pavel. He took almost no damage and he managed to hit a direct rocket. So always going to love those trades. But Cypher you know, is going to replenish that, pick up that red, no problem. And Pavel takes a rail. That's going to slow him down quite a bunch. It's very hard for the out of control player on this map. And Cypher's going to actually steal away one of those very important yellows for Pavel. So Cypher. Just playing it slow with control right now. Where do you see Pavel jumping into the game here? Mm, I'm not so sure uh, as of yet because Cypher is really just abusing his, his rail, making it hard for Pavel. But Pavel has received the, the mega health and he's actually, he should have been a bit quicker on the, on the red pickup. And now he's actually taking a fight that he's never going to win. But um, if he just had the taken the mega and just, you know, went straight away to the red, he could have definitely, you know, made more of an impact because, it's just, you know, Cypher is still, still in the lead because he's still got the, the better stack. Indeed, Cypher is on position again at the Mega Health. Red spawning as well, so if he had a really good read on the position of Pavel, there it is actually, Pavel's going to lose out on both the big items. He tried to go for some damage, but it didn't really amount to very much. Cypher's going to continue business as usual, misses the rail. And Pavel gets away. That could have been a huge opportunity for Cypher right there, but Definitely. Pavel luckily escapes his clutches. But for and how long can he do that? It's already quite, uh, quite clearly, I mean, to see how Cypher plays. Um, he stays, most of the time he stays uh, at the red in high positioning and just um, cycles over to the, to the higher yellow. So he's not, you know, so... He's not jumping around so much. He's just not moving much. He's just... Yeah, move slowly to the map, knowing the timings, and just waiting for his opportunity. And Cypher going to have to rocket jump back up. And again, he's always going to go for the drop, actually. Spots Pavel down below and does so much damage. Just winning position for that teleporter, but Pavel with five points of health left. One more LG cell would have done it. But here goes Cypher charging up onto that red. Pavel going to fight for his life. And there you go. He removes the red armor, but it looks like... Cypher's getting a way better situation. What a clutch rail from Pavel. And he gets the Mega off that, that kill. This is so, so wonderful from both players. The clutch players left and right. Here goes Cypher. And he cannot withstand that damage from Pavel. Pavel going to win that red armor. Can Pavel stabilize or Cypher bring out another crazy attack as Pavel okay. just tries to stack up? Pavel surely going to get the next yellow here. And then he's still got enough time to actually move over to the other yellow, although that's always, you know, uh, giving you a problem in terms of positioning. So Pavel should just stay the center map or like mid, mid mid level here and just wait. Because Cypher will be able to do nothing here. Pavel is the guy in control now and I am pretty sure that he's, uh, you know, really wanting revenge here because now it's his control. Certainly is. Let's see now how Powell can turn this around though. Cypher's very good at avoiding his opponent. Look at that. Lovely rail there. And a second one. Will he go for Ooh, the third? He three does. Three rails in a row. That is a lot Ooh. of damage. A lot of damage right there. And that's going to help Cypher just challenge like hardcore for this mega health. But where is he? He's actually far away. He doesn't want to challenge directly for it. Despite doing three rails in a row to Pavel, he lets Pavel off lightly over at the mega. Nice bit of rocket though, as Pavel tries to edge into that angle for the shot and denied by Cypher. Pavel still got control. Do you feel like Cypher didn't use the free rails that he hit there? Mm, not, not necessarily. I mean, uh, Patience, patience that Cypher has and his rockets really just solved this equation. I mean, it was easy for him. And now he's still got, uh, he's getting good position on the red, hitting another rail. Pavel can't do much. Cypher can push him down the stairs. Really difficult to hit when you're on the stairs. So what? How the, what? Yes, okay. <laughs> there you go. And it's Cypher back in charge. As Cypher it should be. Playing playing this map so rail heavy. Um, I would have expected him to play a bit more, you know, a bit more with the shaft, but just yeah, just keeping keep, keeping Pavel uh, to distance or to the distance and um, doing his magic really. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, 
just going for the rail jewels there. Here goes Cypher though, charging back onto the mega health. And it's just a case of playing it slow. He's got so much time left that he can try to allow Pavel to make a mistake first. It's a nice little rail from Pavel, but it yeah. doesn't mean all that much just yet. Here goes the red armor. Pavel That's might feel confident to try to sneak in another rail there. That's exactly how you have to do the rails, um, because the rail's humming, so he didn't have it out. He had a gauntlet or something. Um, nice. Exactly. Another rail. Great play. Um, but it's still not enough, really, to you know uh, push Cypher off control. He might be able to make like a play onto the, the Mega Health. If he drops on it, has precise timing. He can actually make the fight there. He's going to actually do it. But that oh, rocket changes everything. Cypher, so much damage. Pushes Pavel all the way back. Picks up the Mega Health. So, uh, he's going to go for the pursuit there. Great LG from Pavel. First, pushing Cypher first, back. Here he goes with the LG. For Cypher because he had the rail out and not the shaft. And yeah. Pavel just punished that mistake. Yeah, really Great. well played from Pavel. Have to say, give him massive props for that. That was a very wonderful bringing himself back into control play. Although it, it's not totally in control just yet, but he's he's even things out massively. He has the chance to seize control. But it's all on this fight, and there you go. He deflects Cypher with one good rail. That's all it takes. And there goes Cypher. Nice predictive rocket. But he's going to go for some LG battling right here. And it's Cypher actually working out. Nice. Still, you know, Cypher is always waiting so long after the fights for the opponent to, you know, uh, go away. And then he's still trying to hit nice. that Chica Rail. But through the grade, Cypher has been killed. It's 4-2 uh, to two now. Pavel actually in the lead. And two minutes. And with Pavel's stack, Cypher will, you know, still have to hit another one of these crazy rails to get a control back. Oh, that's a bad oh, lockdown. Beautiful. Pavel preparing with nades and that's exactly what made the difference. He keep... <laughs> I wouldn't actually be surprised if he would have tried to go up the jump pad there. I mean, Cypher is quite low after all that damage. Look how much he's screaming right now. And two minutes left and Pavel's two frags up and he's making every clutch shot count. And right now, trying to push his way back onto Cypher. He doesn't want to take much damage. He's trying to be as efficient as possible, which is really, really good from Pavel. Trying to keep things composed. Spot Cypher doesn't go through the telly. Cypher goes back himself. Oh, and Pavel catches him. There you go. And that was amazing because Cypher was a dead man walking for so long. But look at the timing when Pavel took that frag. It leaves no follow-up for Cypher whatsoever. And there goes the rocket jump up from Pavel. So Cypher, what's he going to do? Oh my god, he hits the direct grenade. What? How? What? I mean, that damage was unreal. So unexpected. A massive opportunity for Cypher. But he's got a minute left to play. And here you go. Here's Cypher's perspective. Let's see if he's able to do it with the time he has left. But Pavel's coming in with those fantastic rails once again. He could shut this all down right here and right now with the railgun, but he doesn't. Unable to hit the next shots. But still really tough for Cypher with no health right now. He could rocket jump up or do some crazy move, but now Pavel... Yeah, he's actually oh, jumping that up rail. Pavel anticipated that move. Shutting him down with a rail and well once played, again Pavel. another rail. GG, um, I'll blame the door that rang earlier and Cypher had to time out. Maybe that, you know, took away his concentration. Just kidding. But really great game uh, by both players. Pavel uh, playing, you know, sort of, you had the feeling, okay, he was not going to get it yeah. because Cypher was hitting such good rails long distance. But then um, slowly Pavel uh, found, a, found a solution. Yeah, I want to just... give him uh, some applause there because just a little, little bit of applause because he did so well out of control. I mean, that whole situation, I mean, it, it actually kind of went badly for him, but he was able to survive long enough that he, was, he actually managed to have enough stack to manage the situation if it went mm -hmm. a little bit poorly. Mm -hmm. And at least he got positioning on the red like through the teleporter because of the way that Cypher's ridiculous rocket connected with him. So even though he lost a lot of health and, and armor from that rocket, it actually kind of worked out in one way. It was, it was not so horrible because he was able to get the red afterwards. And we could see that, he, that Cypher then felt pressured to be like, oh, crap, I need to go out, you know, through the tully to try to damage him. And Pavel hit the shot, and Cypher wasn't hitting the shots there. And that was it. That was the, the game-changing moment for me on map number one. So Pavel's actually on match point now against Cypher, and they move on to Furious Heights. Do you think Pavel can do this? Mm, no, I don't. Well, I, no. I'll give uh, <laughs> I'll give Cypher the edge on on T seven to be honest. Um, yeah, of course. Just on every map of the, because of the sit scan and the way he plays this map. Mm. Definitely, it would That's... be a massive upset at Pavel one, despite how awesome. I mean, Pavel is 
by you know no means is he a terrible player. He's an amazing player. He's really no, good. No, no, no. I'm not, not saying s- that. Yeah, not at all. Not no, of course all. I'm not. I'm not implying that you are. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm just saying he's a massive underdog. It would be a big upset if he managed to beat Cipher, even though he's really good. Cipher is Cipher Cipher Evil tier. So here we go. We're going in game. We have match point now on Furious Heights in this semi final. Pavel, can he do this? It's just, he just has to win Furious Heights and he knocks out Cypher. That would be a massive result okay. for him. Who are you on? I'm on Cypher right now. We're on Pavel off the okay, beginning. we're on Pavel. All right. Well, we all know the first red armor is very, very crucial on T7. So it will be interesting to see how actually Pavel is you know, trying to approach this fight. And he's trying to approach the sneaky way and he's actually moving in. But Cypher is hitting the better one. Oh! What a mutual kill. And Cypher is spawning right on top of the red armor. He's still having enough time to go over to the mega health, but Cypher already waiting there, knowing that he were anticipating that he would spawn over at the red armor. So really, really equal fight. And yeah, we're basically back at square one, and the only difference is that Cypher has got a rail. Yeah, jumping Will he make use Pavel. of it? Will this he be is... able to... Oh! Oh! In the face. That was really nice. I mean, Pavel can, has a lot of options here, but oh no, this is a problematic. He's he's actually allowing the advantage Cypher has, which, which is the rail, to come into play. If he could have shut down that advantage by forcing a close range engagement, I think he could have actually forced Cypher back and put himself in a really strong position. But the mech is up on the spot right now, and Cypher, he has a lot of options now to go for it. Pavel, he's, in a, he's kind of put himself in a really awkward position, but he still will be able to get the Mega. That really shows that Cypher's respecting the, him a lot right now. And the, the yellow, if he uh, is lucky, and actually he's going to get the yellow, and Pavel's not receiving a rail. And it really feels like Cypher is really rail heavy at the minute. Uh, maybe that's not the you know the best option because he's well we know for his really good shaft aim but maybe it's just the way a Pavel plays. A look at that! Actually, Cypher moving in with the rocket, very nice, uh, very nice steal really. Oh! Cypher rescue. That rocket was painful. Pavel's gonna get out of there. Great rail, but. Cypher's got some action on the rail as well, but the spawn! Oh, he manages barely to pick up the 25, but the self-kill. It looked like he was, you know, assuming that he would take the teleporter, so Cypher, Cypher wasn't shooting anymore, and then it just was really an awkward fight for both of players. And now Pavel get, uh, gets the Mega because of that. Goes for that red arm, a bit too slow, but look how much damage Cypher has taken here. Pavel just has to hit one good oh. shot, and there it is, with that rocket launcher. And Pavel now, he ties up the game, he is in a fantastic position. Well, actually, I shouldn't go so far as to say a fantastic position. He's kind of lacking a weapons and he's that LG, but still. Pavel is trying to get an angle on Cypher, but Cypher uh, knowing, you know, how to shut out that very opportunity. And Cypher dropping down now. If he's quick, he's going to be able to actually take the red armor. But uh, let's see. No, he's actually not wanted to do that just yet. Taking the mega health instead, but taking uh, damage on the process. Yeah, Pavel's really connecting some really important shots today. It's really helping him out massively against the Titan from Belarus. And Pavel is going to be able to really start pushing on these Megas now. But with Mega and Red Up at the same time, this gives very interesting opportunities to both players. And it's all going to be about who, like how the reads go. Because they might decide to just leave an item for either one, have the gentleman's agreement, or they might get a bit tricksy with it. But it looks like the gentleman... Uh, the gentleman's agreement does take place. And actually, Cypher still holding position there, looking for damage. Knows he can still get the Mega in time ahead of Pavel. And here, actually, he's, he's getting a bit out of position. Now Pavel has the position for the Mega, and things are starting to get a bit pear-shaped for Cypher. The Cypher. only way he can make this better is by hitting a lot of damage. Yeah, Cypher didn't, wasn't able to do any damage, but didn't receive any, so he can be happy. He's actually in good position to take the red. And he took the red. I think he took it after the rail was hit. So even better for him. So he might be able to be uh, near 200 armor, and he's act exactly that. He's uh, 175 armor. So uh, it's not really, you know, it's not really a, a downhill game for him. It's really just hitting the shots before the big items appear, and then trying to, you know, move out on it, uh, move in on it. There you go. Another red taken by Cypher. 
So he's actually able to, he's, he's beginning to stabilize quite well. And their stacks are actually quite even. But Pavel's hitting some very crucial rails. He's got to be careful of these choke points. And look at that. What a great move from Cypher. Taking the fight close to Pavel. Unexpected movement. Pavel has to try to defend on reaction. And Cypher has him at his wit's end. Barely escaping. Only 48 points of health. One rail will do the job. Will take Pavel down. But there's the red. And Pavel getting that red actually moves into a big advantage. He can just get to the mega in time. Cypher is going to have a lot of trouble if Pavel challenges in a committed and direct fashion right here on this Mega Health. Yep. Good rail. Cypher trying to hit the rail. That's the only thing he could have really hoped for. And wow, another rail hit by Pavel. This is so huge. Cypher will have next to nothing. And the only thing that he can do is hide and he's not going to get anything. Maybe get he's going to get one yellow and that's it. Let's check out Cypher's pop actually because as you said, next to nothing, only 80 armor. He, this is the position where he wows everybody. He's able to come back from situations like this. And it's a tied game still. So, oh, there goes Pavel dropping down. <laughs> the rocket just hit him like. Oh, this is bad for Pavel. This is a terrible position here. Gives Cypher so much damage. But Cypher, oh, and he does manage to close out the kill. And that's going to be three to two now. Cypher moves on into the lead. and. This is going to be very hard for Pavel to deal with now with such a disadvantage on the weapons. There was there was a moment, by the way, that I hope, you, I hope you're happy now. That was that Cypher, I'm out of control, I do hideous things and hit you and die. And look at that, Pavel still very aggressive. These Cypher rockets! On the red, and he's actually doing so. Cypher has to get oh. away, he's not getting around the corner. 50 HP level wasn't up either. Pavel has got full control. What Piper. a beautiful comeback there from pa uh, from Pavel with with that with the rocket play, just moving Cipher, just playing with the pillar. That was just so so great from Pavel, and he's back on the next red. He's got all the item times. It's looking, but but we're back at a tight game. It's pretty much the same situation as before. So Cipher has to be like, all right, got to do the same thing over again. And I don't know if Pavel's going to give it to him so easily this time. Yeah, but Cypher has got a rail, so it, at least he's you know can manage to keep the distance and and, and do some damage. But um, it's gonna be really difficult because Mega Health is up. Pavel just saw Cypher there. I know it knows can take it safely. No, this speeds up. He could just drop down to the red. Exactly what he does, um, very very easily because Cypher will not be able to you know withstand any push at the minute. So he has to wait. Has to wait, get more armor. That's the only thing that is on Cypher's mind right now. And here we go. Pavel going to go straight in for the fight onto Cypher. Oh, switches away from the rail at the most inopportune moment. And Cypher will escape with a lot of damage done to Pavel. So this could get really, really hairy for Pavel right now. But he's actually going to be able to grab the Mega. Cypher's deciding with a tight game to play it slow. Split on the items. Here goes Pavel. Committing with the Rockets. Cypher getting way more damage. Got to be careful. He's still a little bit outstacked. So he backs away. Very, Very nicely tense. played by Cypher. Uh, using the Shaft in the beginning. Then just uh, uh, switching to Rockets when they were doing more damage. So doing most of the damage he could have done in that situation. And now moving over to the Mega Health. Um, yeah, just being in, in, in early positioning um, to, to deal some damage before Pavel enters the room. And here you go, Pavel going to try to play the outskirts here, raining on into that, that mega. But look at this, Cypher playing close. Oh, and the rockets, not quite enough time for Pavel to hit that follow-up rocket. That would have made the difference. And he's going to go aggressive, and he hasn't got the weapons to do this. Cypher's oh, playing. If Cypher, if Cypher does the frag right now, um, you know, Pavel could have spawned actually on the red, so it's actually not that bad keeping Pavel, uh, Pavel alive. Cypher still got a chance to get, get his revenge kill. Look at that. Also, Pavel denying uh, the shot through the grid, so he was moving up outer, on the outer edge of the, of the grid to not get railed. So still you know, keeping an eye on, 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 on Cypher's great aim. And Cypher just going in there, and Pavel trying to take this fight, but... Come on, Cypher low, but can he finish him off? Oh, he's so low, manages to pick up another yellow on the escape there. Can Pavel finish it off? I don't know. Let's see if Cypher can stack back up right now. And uh, hey. it seems as if Cypher is looking healthy once again. 
if, pa if, if Cypher hadn't hit that facial rocket just a half a minute ago, this would be so much different. Oh, that rail. It's just... Is it going down to the coffin issue? <laughs> I don't know, but there you go. Cypher going to go in. 20 seconds left. Stacked exactly. to the teeth. It's got to be the third map. The decider map that's going to decide this one, as deciders often do. <laughs> Um, looks like, I mean, Pavel played a really strong game, though. I'm not used to seeing such strong performances against Cypher from Pavel. It's really encouraging to see this. But there you go, this last little skirmish is not going to result in anything. Five to three. Cypher's going to tie the series up one to one, and we're going to move on to the decider. So what are your thoughts on that, that map issue? Um, what is the map? Uh, no, this map, Furious Heights. What are your thoughts Furious, on what just uh, happened? The thoughts on Furious Heights. Um, hmm. I would say unexpected. I was so close uh, for me, but Cipher just, like you said, he's on the. On, he's really um, excels when he's um, at the edge. He was nearly at, well. He's sort of out of control, and you would have thought, okay, Pavel gets it now, but then. Cypher was able to to make him drop down on the on the mid ledge uh, in the red armor room and he just killed him and just surprised him and it just went downhill from there so uh yeah great <laughs> loving it <laughs> great yeah so we're going on to Lost World now and we have arrived on Lost World on the server Lost World is um it's ah, always that's... hard to call this with these players to be honest yeah so I would say, uh, let's just see how it goes and make no predictions. <laughs> uh, one thing I will say, though, is that actually one of the deciding factors in how well uh, Pavel's been playing, or I think it's actually been the railgun. He's hit a lot of really crucial rail, rail shots that either we can cipher enough for the next item or uh, finish cipher off or in important trades to delay Cypher. You know, he was always able to hit most of those clutch shots, which more than I would expect, and Cypher was missing them more than I would expect. So taking the rail out of the picture might actually remove a little bit of Pavel's edge that we've seen in this series. But regardless of that, I mean, this is such a great map for both players. So it's definitely hard to call, but uh, we'll, we'll see how things actually transpire. Do you want to make a, a prediction on the scores? Um, well, no. given the fact that uh, Cypher and Pavel, um, you know, it's, it's just their style, their style of their, their style clash, really, because Cypher can't really play he, the way he wants to because Fa Pavel is a very sneaky player and very heavy with rockets. Um, yeah, I, I guess it's still going to be a very even match. And you, you said it already, you put the Reagan out of the equation and both players... Um, they have not really... Do they have a weakness on this map? No, they probably don't have. It's just really comes down to who takes the better fights. Who's going to be able to, you know, win these, uh, the, these, these battles. That's very true. I mean... Usually Cypher, is, he has a very stylistic way, uh, a stylistic approach. He's, he, I think there are a lot of trends, actually, in how Cypher plays. I, and I think we've seen Evil actually starting to really recognize that because last uh, Grand Final we had, Cypher versus Evil, I, we, we saw a Lost World and we saw Evil actually taking it. And what, what it really showed to me was that a lot of s the things that we usually see Cypher do where we're like, wow, or, you know, how did he get you know, all that damage? Or you know, these really efficient situations for Cypher that he looks for a lot of the time. I actually saw Evil never even getting into that situation. It actually felt like Evil was consciously avoiding spots where Cypher generally tends to find damage out of control. Because Cypher, that, of course, I mean, he loves catching you with LG. That's like one of the biggest things that really, really works out. And his LG sometimes is just out of this world. So if you're able to remove the edge by just stopping the situations from actually happening when you can, when you can actually do that... It, it really tends to hurt Cypher's game. And another player who tends to be strong against Cypher is actually Faz. You know, historically speaking, Faz often has very good games against Cypher, even though you, know, you wouldn't say that he's on Cypher's level necessarily. But against Cypher, he's got the good reads. And it feels yeah, like players true. are starting to not necessarily figure him out more, but starting to, to learn some of the tricks and how to avoid them, I think. So well, I think there yeah. Too. I mean, Cypher, Cypher is known, it's probably been said before, Cypher is known to... Yeah, bait the items and uh, 
yeah, the the downside obviously is that Cypher might, you know, not be able to stack up as much. So you might see him doing more damage and not taking as many items as the opponent. But you can't really always do that, I guess, on this level. Uh, it's not really Cypher's, it's not like he's baiting every item. But I guess it's the the way Cypher just knows these angles um, where you can hit when other people don't, uh, when when the opponent doesn't expect that. That's really where lies the skill. But uh, I mean, at this stage, they've been playing so long, they're so all rounded, and they can just, they just turn a switch. And they're like ultra aggressive, and you don't expect it. And when on this level, when Evil and Cypher play against each other, or Evil uh, or and Pif- uh, Pavel, Pfeiffer, <laughs> Pavel and Cypher, and they still surprise each other, it just shows there's you can never know every move, or you can never anticipate right. every, every move in Quake Life, and that's what's so so lovely about it. Yeah, definitely. There is just this minute level of detail you can never truly take into account. And it looks like we're back on the server here and uh, we're going to get things underway soon. It seems like they may have been playing the game whilst we weren't there. Yeah, well, they have. Um, <laughs> Cypher. <laughs> Cypher basically uh, took most of the items at the very beginning. Uh, I took the rocket, was rocket jumping over to the, to the other yellow, to the shaft yellow. And then Pavel was on the red and Cypher got the frag because Pavel was on the red very early and already took a lot of damage. So right now you see Cypher being sort of... Doing a moonwalk. Uh, just after being... Uh, just after he picked up the red. This is where we where we left off, basically. All right. So sorry about that, guys. I even had no idea that that was the case. They'd started it without us. But here we go. One to zero, Cypher in position. Or oh, sorry, rather in control, I should say. And yep. issue highlighting well how that happened. And another pickup of the Mega House. So Pavel, it's going to be hard for him to get out onto the map right now. Cypher just taking dominance on the center map as the red up is uh, red is spawned. He doesn't need to drop for it, so he won't. He's just going to keep holding position as he wants Pavel to try and just reveal his position. Even if Cypher gets no damage, he reveals his position like that. That's going to help him inform Cypher how to move around the map. So now he can take the red and make a guess as to what uh, what Pavel knows and what Pavel wants to do. And then that can be how Cypher can catch him. He hears him take the shards. So still, Cypher has a very good understanding of where Pavel is standing right now. How can he catch him, though? Yeah, I find it quite interesting because Cypher knows uh, or should have known that the, the other yellow spawned as well. So he could have rushed over there, rocket jumped up, but um, right now what Cypher does is just control um, one yellow, one red, and one mega health, and that's that's a lot on this map. So uh, it's not going to be able to suffocate that well. Uh, it's going to su- be able to suffocate Pavel that that way, but he's definitely you know decreasing uh, the time Pavel needs to actually get back into control. Um, because the way uh, Cypher always shoots his rockets um, prohibits Pavel to enter the rooms. But this could be a very, very important fight here. And um, Cypher is actually uh, being. Oh, that rocket! Whoa, into what the lava! The oh. oh! What? That is not good. That is yeah, not good. On the edge of my seat. That's one of those rockets that really just flips the game around. And... Pavel, oh what my are you god. Doing? Same. Cypher's in a terrible position all of a sudden. That one rocket, just the way that it bounced Cypher. Ouch, ouch, ouch. So this is a great opportunity then for Pavel. He should recognize it too. I mean, he realizes how low Cypher was. He heard him screaming after he connected the follow-up rocket out of the Tully exit. So Cypher, I mean, what options does he have now? He needs to get out on the map to try and pick something up and use a mega time. Cypher, Cypher doesn't know where uh, Pavel is at the minute. I don't know who you're spectating, so... We're on Cypher right now. Yeah, we're Cypher. So Cypher is not really sure where Pavel is coming from. So let's be really, really careful. He actually hears a sound clue. Uh, probably assuming that uh, Pavel just took the red armor. And oh. there's the mega time for Cypher. I just, uh, yeah. Great, great timing by Cypher to move out of her. Really. Oh. I'm hitting free Nate. Where's my And Cypher definitely now... He's got more information than he had previously. He's got more stack too. He's got all the weapons. 
He knows exactly when the Mega is, and this is really going to be what he wants to make the play on towards. He wants to get close range, he wants to get his hands dirty over at Mega, and that's what he's doing right now, moving towards that Mega. There's the rocket, though, and he's going to drop. Catch Pavel dropping in the little Mega box there. Great engagement for Cypher. You can see how much damage he dealt there. It was massive. Rocket jump back up for the yellow, and Cypher has really started the action right now because he knows he can keep the pressure on. He knows if he hits one good rocket, that could cue the frag. He just has to have the opportunity which he thinks would justify that eventuality he didn't really get it and there's oh pavel gonna go wait at that choke point give cypher that rocket and that's gonna be the frag there for cypher right now as he picks up another yellow and he moves back into control of things but it's not over yet pavel can still bum rush his way in onto the mega if he wants to bum rush is that an, ex is that an expression I didn't there's know the bum rush, rush from pavel <laughs> And he gets the kill. What the hell? Unbelievable. I mean, we're looking at a cypher that's, you know, what, uh, twice as much stack as Pavel. Pavel bum rush. He, that is the definition of a bum rush. You just go in. You don't care. <laughs> yep. Pavel is just uh, definitely found the way into cypher's game. It's just these surprise attacks. It's really, really, you know, superb rockets that throw uh, Cypher off his game. And now Pavel is just trying to stack himself back up and gain position. Again, the Mega is a, an interesting thing. He knows the time of it, so he knows the Cypher took it and when. He has no reason to suspect the delay. And he's going to go for the drop straight into the red. What timing there! Four rocket and a bounce here. Looks Cypher is wow. going to be able to get the frag. Yes, he is. And he might even able to take another pack. Cypher waiting Taking the lead. with the pummel outside and now Pavel's really low. So oh, maybe this could get interesting uh, now. Cypher's on. Oh, get and there it is! That's exactly what he does. I thought for sure he'd go the other way. And I think Pavel oh. did as well. Beautiful rocket there, bouncing Pavel straight up. That's going to weaken him up, but that 50 health helps so much. But Cypher, he is taking dramatic damage from Pavel as well. Both players have some sick rockets today, and Cypher going to try to just get it, just get out of there. That's that really is proving to be the most difficult task of them all. So we're three to three. Things are still really tense. We're no closer to understanding who really has the advantage going in here. What a rocket! Cypher just so sneaky, hitting the full rocket, and I'm not sure if he should stay. Um, yeah. you know, stay that one with that room, but. It's, uh, He's Actually cutting it close. That is for sure. And we've got three minutes left in this match now, guys. And it's looking like Cypher and Pavel are just going neck and neck. I mean, here we go. We're on Pavel now. Even stacks. He's going to catch Cypher. Great LG damage. He might be able to follow this up really strongly now for a frag even, perhaps. But Cypher, he does manage to escape. Uh, Cypher doesn't really have any weapons. I mean, he's uh, he's lacking the rockets. He's lacking the shaft. This is really, you know, being a problem here. Well, he took the shot, so he's got four more rockets left. Oh, that oh, rocket's three great. Three more rockets left. Two. What is he going to be able to do? That that last rocket there from Cypher. That's, all, that's what we're saying. We're just talking about rockets because that is what is being really stellar right now from both players. Red is going to be up there for Pavel. He knows it. He's going to drop down for that. Pavel's been coming out successfully on the stacks, uh, rather the items, but the stacks have been basically moderated by Cypher. He's been doing so well on the damage that he's actually keeping it a bit closer than Pavel should really allow it to be kept. But Pavel now, with that cycle, last cycle of armors, is going to be in a substantial lead on the stack, especially if you can sweep away this mega health. So there's Cypher to make the play on the red. This could go really badly for him. There goes the drop. Beautiful from Cypher. Do you see how he's waiting there? And look, he pushes Cypher. He pushes Pavel into the lava and so much damage is dealt. And look at the rocket on the telly exit. Beautiful play. Pavel, just I am without Cypher, words. That very moment, like just knowing, you know what, Pavel, you like drop onto the red armor. Cypher is, I know what you want to do. Oh, what a follow-up from that I, spawn. Just, yeah, I, just, I don't even know what to say if I should comment on that frag or the, the frag um, that was yeah. prior before that because that was definitely one of the, the key moments in this match. Really amazing stuff from both players. Just ineffable. And one minute remains, and it, it's a deciding map. Yep. And it's 4-4. Four, Pavel, four. Pavel doesn't have LG, Surfer. Hitting a facial rocket as well. This is 
once again, still very, very clutch. Obviously, Cypher opting... Uh, oh! Cypher on the red armor. Pavel now out of control. And there's a rocket jump Still from... go either way. Oh, that was, nice. lot of, that was a lot of rocket damage by Pavel. So this is, this is definitely not good. He's stealing away the, the 50 there, the upper 50. There goes the Mega though, and here comes the Plasma, forcing Cypher to jump off the spot. Now he's going to go in for the attack. He's successfully rooted out Cypher from that position, going for the follow-up. Oh, he misses the rocket. Can he finish him off though in time? And he does, and Pavel gets the kill. He takes the lead with 20 seconds there, picks up the red. What can Cypher do from this position? He's got to go crazy, and he's got no weapons. Pavel rocket jumps up to finish the match in style. GG called from Cypher. What a beautiful game we just witnessed, Sishu. Wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> damn straight. Pavel just playing such yeah. a great game. Just knowing just knowing how to beat Cypher, I guess. Um, rockets. Must have been in his Rockets. That was a pretty damn good game. <laughs> wow. All right, let's just uh, let's just take a break, guys. <laughs> we'll move into the next semi-final momentarily. Stay with us. We have some evil action coming up right after the break.